Right, morning everyone. Welcome to a new video. Hopefully you can see us both. Um, there is a staffing shortage at Partridge Exterior Cleaning. It's just me and Brad today. So Kev's been off sick for quite a while now. Elias called in sick this morning. So I'm counting today as a new week. So a new week for work, a new week for videos as well. One job per video. There'll be a little bit more action packed. I'll be able to show more of the video as well. Um, Brad's obviously the editor now. So he sh you should have probably seen two videos that he's edited now. Let us know what you guys think. Anyway, roof clean today. Are you ready, Brad? Yeah, I'm ready. So Brad's going to be doing a lot of the cleaning today. So we need to uh, we need to train you up, don't we? And yeah. start getting you up to speed because he's been here. It's been two weeks now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a few weeks. We're just going to we're going to start taking the time now to get training properly. So we'll see you when we get there. Right then, folks. We are just pulling up to the job now. So the, the neighbour here, mate, next door, apparently is like bad. Yeah. So we can't get anything over her side. So the other side of the roof there, we're just gonna have to try and soft wash it, I think. So we've got to be really careful. Look, she's got a window open ready for it. So I might go and speak to her and say there might be a bit of spray and just try and sweeten her up. Let's get it done, mate. Just me and you, we ain't done a roof together yet on our own. I don't think we have, no. Front's the hardest, back's quite easy. Right. So we had these bottom tiles done by a roofer. A roofer pressure washed them. Um, some time ago but as you can see not the best not the best job there what the hell have we caught on there man? Oh, I'm never letting him pack these poles in ever again have you been keeping anyway all right yeah, yeah. good yeah. hello there how are you you right yes, um we're just cleaning the roof next door um so we'll keep obviously any mess on this side to a minimum if there any if the wind does take anything over before we leave today, we'll clean everything up and it'll well, be... What about the gravel? So what we'll do... We'll... Just a lot of putting in a riddle and all rinsing. Yeah, so we, we've got a big tarp, so we'll cover that up with tarp. Um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, any mess at all, we'll clean it all up. If there's any, any water gets on your windows, we'll clean the windows for you. Absolutely everything will be spotless. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, ideally, we'd like to set up on this side to reach that bit of the roof. But if you don't want to find your property, that's fine. We can leave that. Um, I've already spoke to the neighbour about it anyway. Um, the only part that might get a little bit of spray over is when we do the back. Um, and I'll, I'll angle everything towards us anyway. But if anything does come over, we'll give well, everything a double check. Why are you doing this when you can't do the back so all the glasses on there? We're doing around it. So we're going all around the panels basically. But um, our main thing is the clean up, so we wouldn't leave until everything's spotless anyway. I've heard so. all this before though from work. I'm not saying you want it then. <laughs> you'd be, I'd be lucky if you're not. No, no, well, I, could, I completely understand. I, I really do. So, but trust me, we will not leave this house. I'll come and give you a knock before we go. You come out, you have a good look at everything. Um, and if you're not happy, we'll stay till, till you are happy. So, okay. yeah. All right then, spot on. Thank you. So yeah, there we are, we're about to begin. Um, she wasn't too bad, was she at all? She just doesn't want any mess on her side. I completely agree with that, to be honest. There's a lot of companies out there that will just dip, um, even if they fully know they've left a mess as well. So unfortunately, it is a messy job, and especially if you get a windy day as well. Brad's going to go double check the tarp before we put it on her stone. She's basically got like a big gravel section that um, we know ourselves getting moss out of gravel is nearly impossible. Yeah, it might actually be a long day, this one, folks. <laughs> Not much moss on this one. Ah, oh, that is a long pitch on it. Let's go. Oh. Ow. Nice slice to the finger already. There's like a bit of like lining in the in the gutter. I can't remember what the name of it, but it's just to help the water to run off. And then it sticks out. You just you put your hand in there to try and clean it and it just slices your fingers up. That's probably why I should be wearing gloves. Oh that is stinging like crazy that is. Actually yeah if you got one. Let me just, let me just wash it again. <laughs> Thank you. Pinch my other finger. That's two cuts on one hand in like ten minutes. Uh, it'll it'll try and bleed. If I, if my hands weren't so tough, I'd probably bleed out from that. Mm. 
the old spirit level hammer. Everyone hates it when I do that. Right, folks, so this is the job. Again, not too bad. It's just that bit over there, really, that's going to be a problem. This is all nice and easy, nice and reachable. Bit of moss on it, but nothing nothing crazy, to be honest with you. Loads of lichen up there, look all that yellow. Um, and then this, this has obviously been cleaned a bit before, but it does need, you know, obviously a proper thorough clean by us. So we'll do that. Loads of solar panels on the back, so nothing too major there. Have a go. Yeah. So there's just a little bit there that's easy to reach on that roof. It seems like these are all we've done lately. These yeah. tiles, the hardest tiles. Yeah, I chuck it down to me. I'm nervous about this. All right, got it. Go. go. Yep. Go. All right, trying to get a good a good angle for you guys. And the wind just moves my bloody pole. Look. Look at that, he's only gone and done it nearly. And I can only see two misfits. Just two. <laughs> I can see a bit that I've missed there as well, never mind. So as you can see, the mud just kind of isn't accumulating at all. It's just running off nicely down to the, towards the drains and obviously we're catching all the big bits. Started using these rubble sacks, which are pretty good. Obviously they can just drain the water out, you can see. So they just drain out over time, so makes the moss a lot less heavy. I think we've covered this up nicely as well. So this is what we're working with for the back. So we just got that bit there. I've already spoke to the neighbour next door. There might be a bit of overspray onto theirs. I mean, that's one scaffolding tower there, one there, and then that is done. Yeah, it's done a good job on this patio, hasn't it? Sealed it all up lovely. Do some mega reach on this one. Yeah, there's a tip for anyone, like I always say it, but just in case no one's heard me say it yet. When you're struggling with a reach, if you pot the further out your pole is, the more pressure you're gonna need. Now, like one size doesn't fit all, you know. Now normally we run anywhere from like 90 to a to 100 bar when we're doing the roof cleaning. Um, if, you know, remember by the time that's what's coming out of the machine. But by the time that reaches all the way up 70 meters of hose, sorry, I think I've, I've got an extra 20 meters. So we're looking at like 90 meters linear of hose there. Okay, you might have to pump up to 130, 120, something like that, whatever feels comfortable so that you can actually reach the job. Because if I just stuck at like say 90 bar on this, this reach, the nozzle wouldn't even come off the roof, guys, because it's too far out and you need that. Otherwise, it's going to absolutely destroy your arms or you're just not straight up going to be able to do the job. So. Don't be afraid to change your pressure, you don't have to stick to one. Can I reach the end of that? Look at that for a reach, guys. I think I've got about 40 feet, maybe 35 feet on the end of this pole at the moment. 
yeah it's all about just figuring out that weight what pressure do you need to hold the weight that's all it is again always be careful in the valleys as well guys don't want to be blasting in there for too long i always say if the roof's ever going to leak it's going to be from these so the main main thing is oh, not letting any water build up in that valley that's the number one golden rule the water can't run down the roof, it can't get down to that gutter line where it's safe. But if these were all loose and coming out, and you had a big clump of moss there, the water's going to seep in under them tiles. Can you see there, look, it will just come straight out underneath that tile and into the gutter in. But, you know, you never know and it's always better to, to be safe than sorry. It always pays just to give everything a nice rinse while you're up here, because it is a little bit harder than when you're on the ground. So, uh, where's that bit that I missed? over here somewhere isn't it well right, folks time for the back feeling a bit tired today my body is broken oh, a bit windy up here all right then nice big solars all right just had to move all the boards up because they were all of one step too low let's see if i can reach this a bit easier now enough for the scaffolding to be dangerous but it's like just windy enough for it to uh, like blow the pole around a lot. So we've developed a bit of a flood down there. We don't actually have a drain around the back. There's not a single drain, which is very unusual. I can see why he's done that very neat uh, channel in the grass now. Because yeah, there's nowhere for the water to go. So it is just running slowly into the soil there, which is fine. Okie dokie, main roof done, one to go. Well, I will eat my own words there. Did not get stung once and they've been flying around my face and everything they were not interested in stinging me so yeah customer was right looks like they don't sting oh look at this guys big clean at mission time Good. no 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 oh i know that doesn't look like much guys but oh, i just swung the hose thing around and the bit on the end just smacked me in the elbow right in the funny bone that's probably got a bit of skin on it. Oh my god. I needed a uh <laughs> need a new plaster. I haven't wore a plaster in years. I usually just let it get infected and as soon as it start starts looking like gangrene I um put some cream on it but this this one was a bit deep. Ugh. guys have only gone and done it. Oh, tiny bit, I can blast that away though. Hey love, do you want to have a quick check to make sure it's all right for you? Yeah, do you have to do around the back? I've just been there. Have you done? Yeah, yeah, it's all done. Do you moved them? I'll, I'll rinse all around them and stuff, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Have, have a look, let me know, and then uh, if it's all good, I'll pack up. Yeah, is, yeah. It, is that all right for you, yeah? yeah? Yeah, let's try Good stuff. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm back on Friday anyway because I've still got a few bits to finish off. There won't be any mess. All right then, all the best. I'll probably see you Friday then. Take care now. Home. My elbow has stiffened up to the maximum. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Daddy's home. Daddy. Daddy's home. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. Wow. Daddy. Friday, finish Hi. Up. What are you doing today? 
Hi, Let's just say hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Right, right then, morning folks. Today is Friday, so I'm heading back on my own to that job that you've just seen because I need to get the biocide on the roof, don't I? Yeah, so unfortunately, guys, you, you guys have missed Kev's last day. Well, Kev hasn't had a last day really, um, he's been ill for a couple of weeks now, and then he's sort of he was leaving at the start of this month. Today's the first of September, so. We didn't get our last day with Kev, unfortunately. You will see him again on the channel, though, indefinitely. So the, the new job he's getting, he's got a lot less hours for it. So if he needs some extra money and stuff like that, he'll come and do a couple of days with me in there, I think. So even I'm feeling sick now. Brad was feeling rough this morning, so I don't know what's going on. Everyone's ill. Um, but we're still cracking on. My dad has come down to save me. So Brad and my dad are going to do a scrape job now. So they should be nearly there now. So they're going to set up. I'm going to join them in a little bit. Hopefully we'll finish that scrape job today as well. Weekend off, let everyone recover, and let's get biocide in. Showed this process for a while, but yeah, this is the biocide process. This is Dosatron, mixes up all of our chemicals for us. Um, all we need is to plug into an outside tap, that's it. This was the third one ever made from GK Pro, and I still use it now, so <laughs> there's a good advert for them. It's, about, it's got to be about two and a half, three years old now, and it's been used pretty much every day, and it still works great. Take the lid off, and what you do, turn the tap on. Start hearing it click, release some pressure. Voila. So basically this goes from there into a reel, up here, all the way to the end of the pole. I climb up the scaffolding, turn my tap on, and then clean. Simple as that. Right then folks, that concludes, that is the roof all done. Uh, I've rinsed down everything again as well. Tidied up some blocks from around the back. That's it, oh my God, I feel like absolute rubbish. It's 11 o'clock, so I wanna go and head to the guys now and then hopefully finish that roof.